Hey Asphalt Lifers, here comes a new episode of Hammer Time with Paul Caseri. Today we are in beautiful Hampton, Georgia, one of our manufacturing facilities. I'm excited to talk about our new True Ridge ventilation product. I'm going to show you some tips and tricks to make sure that you install this new ventilation product uh, properly so you can get the proper use in your ventilation system. Let me just tell you about a few of the features of this product. Uh, True Ridge comes in three different variations. It comes with part only, it comes with part with nails, that's the second one, and the third one is part with nails and filter. We call that True Ridge Allway. The first thing you're going to notice is this unique baffle design right here. We have notches preformed in the baffle design and this allows for thermal expansion and contraction. And what this does is this can uh, prevent that if the product expands and contracts on your roof, you don't get a wavy ridge line. So we have that uh, built into this product and it is patented. The process is pretty simple. The first thing you want to do when you do any ventilation project is to properly calculate your ventilation needs. So it's either refer back to the 1 300 or the 1 150 ratio depending on your attic size and your installation methods that you're going to use. You want to keep in mind that before you start cutting your slot, that you give yourself some proper distance before your gable in or any intersecting rig. So here, I left about a foot, about 12 inches. Uh, you want to take one inch off of each side of your, uh, of, of your ridge and then cut that slot. For here, we've already made our chalk lines. I cut one side already. I'm simply going to cut the other side and that'll give us our proper ventilation exhaust. Once you cut the slot in the sheathing and you remove the wood, you're ready to install your ridge vent. So this particular piece of ridge vent has pre-molded nail holes, and that's just really for tacking it down. You're going to install the hip and ridge directly on top of the vent. So line your vent up, use the three inch nails that come supplied with the product if you've gotten that option and just tack down the ridge vent making sure that you're consistent and straight across the ridge. Once you have the True Ridge vent product installed, it's ready to put the hip and ridge shingles on. Today we're using Pro Cut Hip and Ridge. This particular vent style accepts a 12 inch hip and ridge. So I'm going to go ahead and install that like you typically do the hip and ridge using the 3 inch nails supplied if that's the option with your vent. You just continue to work your way down the ridge. It's just that easy. But remember the critical steps for proper ventilation. Always make sure you calculate your proper ventilation needs, either with the 1150 or the 1300 ventilation requirements. You can always look back at building code as well. For additional ventilation installation videos, visit Atlas Roofing forward slash ventilation. For more Hammer Time videos, visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash Atlas Roofing Corp. And always remember, live, roof, play, the asphalt life.